there is one serious topic that many don't like to discuss. Women will be silent no more! We will not be shy. Just think for a second. In 2020, women made about 80 cents for every dollar the average man earned. Moms earn only 71 cents to a man's dollar. And this applies not only to earnings, but also to investments. And at first sight, it looks like men are bad investors. So we are workers by nature, we are overcomers by nature. But the truth is 39% of women have forfeited income or career advancement to care for the needs of children or parents. Taking this fact into consideration, it becomes harder to say who is really better. You name whatever, whatever comes to mind, things uh, men are naturally better at than women. Um, making more money. Due to a big survey made by Standard & Poor's Global in 2019, only 26% of American women invest in the stock market, despite 41% of these same women viewing the market positively. And even if the market offered the potential of economic prosperity, women are generally in less of secure position to take the risk associated with invest. I thought about it for a long time, but I didn't know where to start. The reason I've been avoiding this so much is, is something that's actually different between you and me. And it's this feeling of full-on fear. At universities, on TV shows, and in the news, we are told that the men are keener on investment than women. The main argument is that due to less pay, women are not as confident in their investing ability as men. But what they don't tell us is that the women do investment better. They are more disciplined savers and less impulsive investors than men. For the guys, it's a river. And the money's coming in, the money's coming out, and the level's going up, and the level's going down. And for women, it's a pond. And this is my money, and I'm, I've got to take care of my money. A study by the University of California, Berkeley, based on 35,000 brokerage accounts over six years, found that the women generated returns that were 1% higher on average than men. And that may not seem like a huge gap, but it's substantial when compounded over time. Even when the number shows us that the women get high investment returns, it seems like they're afraid of the stock market. There's something to be scared about every single day, and if you don't think so, just watch the news. I mean, there's things we should all just be panicked about at all times. I'm not sexist, don't get me wrong, but don't you agree that the men are more aggressive, impulsive, and suborn in some ways, while women are more constant, clear, balanced, and thoughtful? Let me tell you something. There is no nobility in poverty. I have been a rich man, and I have been a poor man, and I choose rich every fucking time. Yeah! Just imagine for a second what 2021 would look like if women took the place of male investors. Possibly there would not be speculation with the meme stocks like AMC or Jimmy. Short interest in GameStop. And this GameStop situation is the craziest I think I've ever seen. There would not be numerous YouTube channels with stories about making $1 million trading options in EMC and another million shooting videos about all the hype. Of movie magic today, jumping more than 9% after Credit Suisse initiated coverage on the theater chain with an outperform. It is our call of the day. Kind of scares me too. I suppose that even meme stocks wouldn't exist. Women wouldn't sell houses and go all in on Dogecoin or other hyper-volatile cryptos. I just became a millionaire by spending all my money on Dogecoin. To understand the real state of affairs, I checked the statistics of one of the most popular investment apps in the United States, Robinhood. It has almost 18 million active users, and women make up only 30% of them. Why this proportion is so uneven? 
Robin Good also asked this question on its race in 2020, as a millions of women are their potential clients. And the results are shocking. Half of the female respondents haven't invested because they don't know where to start. You know, I went further. I asked 10 of my female friends if they invested or not. If they do, what apps did they use? What stocks did they buy? If not, what keeps them away from the investment? And both surveys show almost the same results. Women are overwhelmed with information and scared that it could take months just to get to know how everything works. And that is why they mostly delegate it to their male partners, as my wife does. And to prove my assumption, I suggested to my wife that she start investing by herself. Only after I said a few words about the idea of beginning her investment career, the first question appeared right away. Where to start, how to get started, what investing actually is. And it seems like my family case is not unique, and a lot of other women have the same concerns. I'm afraid to fail. I'm scared of failure. I have such a fear of failure that it is holding me back. Earlier in my investment career, I heard more than once, Karina, you can't get what you want. Due to the Robin Good survey, which I have previously mentioned, 86% of women surveyed would worry about losing money if they were to invest. Just think how big this number is. You've never heard of the Great Depression? The 2008 economic crisis. People lost millions. <laughs> I've been losing my life savings investing. Unfortunately, society and historical background did their job. The root of the problem is much deeper. When a new century was born in 1900, woman's place was in the home. Few sports and few jobs were considered ladylike enough for her attention. The Habits of the mind in investing go back to a time when women had very little control over any financial decisions. And there is a persistent sense of the industry as a masculine realm. And that's why women were excluded from the world of money and finance for years. What I got to do? Remember, I haven't got your dream kitchen to make things easier. This whole kitchen was designed for efficiency and convenience. The world has changed dramatically since the stock market appeared. But even 20 years ago, there was no chance that an average woman with a small children, housekeeping, and a husband who also needs attention could stay at home and easily buy stocks for herself. Now everything is very different. Everything is online. Brokerage apps are user-friendly with intuitive interfaces and no fears. Let's look at the phenomenon of Robinhood, which was the first app that managed to attract unusual audience like millennials and women. Robinhood has really become synonymous with millennial retail trade. Robinhood has brought a whole new generation of investors into the market, the iPhone toady millennials. It's free. All of the major brokerage firms have followed Robinhood. Now you can invest with an online app making a few swipes, acting in your in the best interest, and at the same time making pancakes for your kids. We've got Robinhood, Weeble, M1 Finance, Stash, Stockpile, Betterment, Wealthfront, Fundrise, and that's just the extent of what I could remember and say in one take. Just remember the everyday routine of Warren Buffett in a famous movie Becoming Warren Buffett. He spent five to six hours a day reading everything from a daily newspaper to an annual report. I, I went through page by page looking for possibly undervalued stocks. Now every woman and man has all the newest information gathered and structured at the tips of their fingers. And while eating, studying, cooking or repairing your car, you can get notifications which tell you what has happened to the stocks you are interested in, recommending what to buy or just remind you that your dividends now are available in your account. 
Today, there are understandable graphs, watch lists, and a lot of other features that save our time and nerves. There are tons of different investment courses both for men and women can take if they only have the desire. You can choose to study at a business school, take a free course at Coursera, or buy a $300 investment course from a meat cabin. And if you want every single buy sell alert, where we talk about my strategies in the market. Also, there are numerous free investment videos, books available on the web. How to invest in stocks for beginners course. It's gonna be a completely free course. And if you are still not sure about your knowledge, just for your information, there are a lot of apps also offer virtual trading accounts which have all the same functions and features as an actual trading account but in which all trading is done with a fake money. Click paper trading account. Using a trading simulator is probably the single most important step that you can take when you're starting to trade or invest. Many investors and traders, beginners and professionals alike, use such test accounts to practice and fine-tune their skills in the market before risking real money. I lost a little over $500,000 on one single trade. I had already lost around $5,000. The application to open brokerage account became very simple and easy to understand. It shows me everything from my net worth, my cash, my credit cards, and my investments. Most female beginners end up loving it. Robinhood is an app for your phone. It's super simple. While some male experts might dislike it due to the limited information it has. Professional traders, they're going to be using this kind of stuff. And so this is an example of the types of things you can find on Bloomberg. That is the point. Those experts who want to have complex graphics, tables, and analytics can easily choose another apps like Weibo, Think or Swim, Bloomberg Terminal. Weibo, I was like, whoa, there is just so much information, so many graphs, so many points of research that for a beginner, it can be a little bit overwhelming. Those experts and app developers always want to make everything complicated. And yeah, we're, oh, we're up, we're up, we're up, we're up, we're up. Um, what the? It seems like this is just one more way to make a kind of private club only for men who already know how to invest. Women know in their hearts that women cannot make decisions. But it seems like women don't want to be out of the process. I don't care. Women are actually smarter than men. It looks like one more battlefield in the war of sexes began. I want to go to war! I want a lightsaber! I'm a man! Every war is a battle of strategies and tactics. Can you just name some things that uh, men are better at than women? I don't know. Basketball, maybe? Who will win? As I say, I mean, don't overtrade, don't overtrade battling. You must have consistent day trading habits. Coming back to the paper, both will be boys, gender of a confidence and common stock investment made by Berkeley. They determined that men trade with a 45% higher frequency than women, but with a reduction in net returns of 2.65% per annum. I mortgaged everything that I had. I owed, I lost almost 70% of my, my investment. The high frequency trading pattern shown by men was attributed to overconfidence. My plans to scale it actually up, I scale it up. Overconfidence in knowledge and ability could lead them to impulsively take greater risk without looking at the bigger picture. Like an absolute idiot, I poured most of my savings into Bitcoin and within a few weeks, I'd lost over $55,000 of it. Women, by investing less frequently and holding position for longer, often create greater financial returns. The biggest thing as a trader is discipline. So generally, women don't take sub-optimal setups as often as men do. So I've taken a small amount of money that I'm okay with losing. So tend to have a higher winning percent. And I've already tripled that. Few intellectual male traders take such a cautious approach. Although Warren Buffett is an outlier, well known for his long-term holding strategies. 
Admitting mistakes is also a skill that distinguishes the trading style of man and woman. If you're not gonna make a mistake and finally admit to it and understand how and where you made the mistake, then what's the point in failing at all? The age-old adage that men will not stop to ask for directions when law sometimes rings true in trading. I smile because no matter what happens, I'm still a winner. A refusal to admit when they are wrong could mean that they are more likely to hold onto losing trades longer than they should, in the hope that they will turn around. I think it's very easy to say, look, I got it wrong. I can just I can just be wrong and let it end that way. Or I can learn why I was wrong and make money because you know that people are doing it. Women generally tend to admit mistakes more quickly and are more willing to ask questions when confronted with things they don't understand. Mistakes happen to all of us. So when you handle mistakes properly and recover from them, you actually turn your mistakes into opportunities. And this means they tend to adhere more strictly to a strategy and are better at cutting losses. Our cardinal rule is to always sell if a stock drops 7% or more below what you paid for it. Also, it has been suggested that women act more sensible on volatile days, with men more likely to panic and sell positions after large market drops or corrections. Why you panic selling? Why you panic selling? Every time the market crashing, why you always bailing? This means locking in losses, while women are more likely to hold and give the market a chance to recover. Yeah, I think women just tend to have a clearer eye, as does Mr. Buffett when it comes to investing. In experimental asset markets, male-dominated markets generated bigger speculative bubbles than female-dominated ones. We're not selling, all right? I'm not fucking leaving! I'm not selling, I'm holding on for the long run. I feel like this is the future. And if you guys believe that this is the future, you hold on to it. Female trading behavior often associated with the patience and analytics offers a stabilizing impact on capital market and their positions may balance a sell off. The important thing to do is to listen to your mind and not let your emotions drive you. Conserving capital is essential in trading, and the available data suggests that women tend to be more risk averse than men. We're more patient, we're more willing to commit, we think longer term, we don't trade as much, we're more risk averse. When it comes to a set and a goals, men are considered to be more competitive, whereas women might avoid getting caught up in the adrenaline rush of the moment and focus instead on their eventual spending goals. The majority of my wealth goes to longer term investments. Men and women are so different and it looks like the true competition only begins and it seems like famous Katie Wood will lead the female side. Kathy Wood, the best money manager of 2020, who is ready to compete with her from a man's side? Maybe Bill Ackman, an investor and a hedge fund manager. Billionaire investor Bill Ackman uh, banking a 73% return on his investment in Starbucks. His investment approach makes him an activist investor. I'm an investor who's made a bet that the business will fail. Katie Wood in the pantheon of top money handlers over any period in the past five years and has been the most persuasive and so far persistent champion of Tesla Inc. We're using spectacular growth rates that no one is expecting. And Tesla was our first proof of concept, I would say, a very right. visible one. Her actively managed ARK Innovation ETF is the best performer among 584 funds with at least one billion of assets in the global equity market. Bill Ackman, current net worth is about 3.3 billion. Not so bad, but it doesn't mean that the man can win. This war started a long time ago and for sure will not end tomorrow. It's hard to say who is really better. But it's clear that women are getting more and more confidence, opportunities, and desire to become really respected investors.